you can tell how seriously introverted I am. <clears throat> and if you believe that, I have some real estate for you. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so I know what you're thinking. Another Chinese stand-up comic. <laughs> You've been a great audience. Um, <laughs> um, I think we really need to have a lot of fun. Because this is a very serious time in human history. And many people are suffering. And um, we, we have a heroic task to undertake. And uh, we are all called to do this. It is not going to be easy. So I, I wouldn't like to tell you that ecosystem restoration is easy. It isn't easy. But it is possible. And this is, this is a very interesting phenomenon. It's possible. And humans, humans are very clever. And so we have the ability to do what we need to do. We just need to decide that we're going to do it. And I have been studying this now for several decades. And it has had an effect. It, 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 is, it has changed the science, the understanding of what is possible. It has changed global policy. It has changed laws in certain places. And it has changed landscapes in certain places. Large areas, actually. But it's not enough. And the problem that we have is that we are, we are having a hierarchical society where certain people have power and others feel that they, they're not, they don't have power, that they can't do anything. And when we encounter the data sets concerning climate issues, it's terrifying. Actually, the most terrified people that I know are the people who have the most data sets. So the, the serious scientists are just absolutely flabbergasted. And the, the uh, global leaders, they don't have a solution. So you can't look to them for leadership because they don't know what they're doing. They're, they're, the institutions that we have are set up to maintain the status quo. So the idea that they're going to lead us to some transformational change is, you know, it's ridiculous. They're not going to do it. So what, for a long time, I have been understanding, it's possible to rehabilitate large-scale degraded landscapes. This is exactly what we need to do to ensure the survival, we're not even talking about sustainability, it's survival of human civilization. So we know what we have to do, we can do it, but something is stopping us from doing this. There are a lot of international conferences and there are a lot of institutions which are studying this. There are a lot of funds which are being created, and so on, and so on, and so on. But they're really not doing the job. And so I was part of this. You know, some of the efforts are useful. I learned a lot. There are great scientists and, and people who are dedicated. But the, the idea that we're going to succeed to mitigate and adapt to climate change was not really part of the conversation. It looked like we were failing. And then I had this idea. What if we don't need permission? <laughs> what if the problem is that the sovereignty of individuals was taken away from them? And that 
the, the push for colonialization and for control took away their rights. And the, the history has been taught as if, if you conquered another culture, you won. Oh. But the fact is, if you conquered another culture or you enslaved another culture or you caused mass genocide around the world, nobody won. Everybody was a loser. And we lost the, the profound knowledge of the biome, of the biodiversity. We lost so much, the cultures, the cosmology, and we substituted it with materialism. And the fact is, the materialism does not lead to any satisfaction. So if you pursue the goals that the society tells you to pursue, you will be sadly disappointed. So you, so you have two choices there. One, you pursue what they tell you to pursue, and you don't achieve it. And then you're really disappointed because you didn't, you didn't make it. You're in competition with all the other people who are striving, and, and you didn't make it, so you're disappointed. Or the other possibility is you do, you succeed. You, you, you outcompete all the other people and then you get what you think you want and you find out it's completely unsatisfying. And then if, if you find, oh, it's completely unsatisfying, I guess I need more of that. And then you get more and more. And now look at what we have now. At the, at the extreme of this, you have billionaires. They're, I mean, you know, like billionaires are starting to litter. Millionaires are nothing, you know. You know, billionaires. Let's have some more billionaires, you know. And these are the most empty, tragic people that you can imagine. And you know, so if if they get to this point and they just want more and more, like, how, do you, have you looked at like people who have like 150 automobiles in a warehouse or something? They have like three jets and you know yachts and I mean what, what is going on with that we think that that is creating wealth but in fact it's creating mass poverty around the world billions billions of people are living in poverty at the edges of massively degraded landscapes and these landscapes can be restored and this is the task and it will not be easy and so we're gonna to have to keep our spirits up while we do this, and we're gonna to have to multiply. We're gonna to have to go forth and multiply. So go multiply tonight. Anyway. Later tonight. Yeah, later tonight, yes. Not not right now. Not, not publicly. Yeah. But um, you know, really, we we have to realize that we need to now achieve exponential growth. So we know now we have a methodology with ecosystem restoration camps. I urge you to learn all about ecosystem restoration camps because the people who are participating in this, they are finding fulfillment and they are restoring the earth and they're showing the way that we can do this. So if we, if we can start to have multiple camps, camps in all all continents, self-governing, self-organizing, and, and everyone is sovereign. We're returning the sovereignty to the individuals, to the people. We're taking the power away from the institutions. So this is what needs to be done. We have to do it rapidly, and we have to divide. So learn all about it. Get excited. Don't work too hard. Have a lot of fun. Have more people. Less work. More people. And less work. Thanks very much. It's been a, it's been a great honor.